Hey guys, uh, this is Eric, and I just wanted to make a quick video about one of the games that I played yesterday. Um, I played in the Lee Chess Title Arena, and I actually played Magnus Carlsen in the very first game unknowingly, um, and I beat him. So I wanted to share the, the stream footage because I was streaming the whole, uh, the whole event on Twitch, and just wanted to give some background information before I show that. So um, it was the first round. Carlson usually plays under the account Dr. Drunkenstein, but recently he's been playing under anonymous accounts to perhaps hide his identity so people don't, uh, don't spam him on Lee Chess. Um, so the very first game, I was playing Man with a Van, um, who just showed the Grandmaster title, so I thought I was playing some random Grandmaster. It turned out to be him. Um, it was confirmed via uh, the Chess Network stream um, chess Network got some, some inside information from some Lee Chess moderators. Now, the one advantage that I had, actually maybe a couple advantages that I had in the game, uh, for one, Carlson was playing on mobile, so he was perhaps a bit slower than normal, maybe the connection wasn't as good, um, and as you'll see in the game, I did end up uh, having some nice time advantage, especially towards the end. The second advantage I had was a bit more psychological. It was the fact that I didn't know I was playing him. I feel like if I knew I was playing him, then it would have been a lot more difficult to stay focused. But um, but since I thought I was just playing just a random player, I, I was really focused in the game, and I think that brought out some, uh, some better play. So I'll go ahead and show the footage. Um, I should point out that after, uh, after I played him, at some point in the tournament, I was uh, told by the Twitch chat that I did play him and beat him, so you'll see that reaction, and then at the end of the, the video, I'll, um, I, I go over the game, reacting to, to how it uh, transpired. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Okay, hello everyone. It is 1.54 p.m., and the title arena starts in just about six minutes. Uh, if I just quickly glance at who's playing, there's a lot of players. It's over 200 players. Carlson is likely playing. <clears throat> Except last tournament, he signed up as Dr. Drunkenstein, and then he switched at the last minute to an anonymous account. So that was, uh, that was sneaky. And the goal for the, the tournament is to finish in the top, let's say, 30? I think that's a reasonable goal. Um, but the ultimate goal is to play Carlson. I don't care about beating him, I just want to play him like one game. Never played him in chess before that I know of. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Deep breath. Three, I'm gonna two, try and win, one, Colorado. Let's we'll see how it goes. The ice, thanks for the bits. Don't cheer too much while I play. So that'll be distracting. But Okay, I'm playing a GM. Let's play the Budapest. Okay, he's pre-moving too quickly. Maybe I can take on c3. Never mind. Let's keep the bishop. Yeah, I've induced b4 to play a5. Put the knight in e5. I just want to be solid. Mm, let's take. Okay. Maybe I'll attack him somehow. Mm, maybe not. H, f no. I don't know what to do. Just have to move around. Ooh, okay, knight f3 and queen g4 looks nice. Or queen h3. Knight g4 ideas. e3 is attacked too. Let's double up. Mm. I don't see a breakthrough. That was a terrible move. I'm playing too slowly, too. But, okay, it's still a fight. Put the queen on g6. I want to take on f4. Knight d3, I can play rook e4. Hmm, tricky. I'm just up a pawn now. Let's put the rook on the h-file. 
I want to put the bishop on c5. Block the rooks. Put the rook on d6. Up some nice time. Let's not hang a rook. Ooh, he hung the rook there. <laughs> okay, now it's easily winning. Okay, that was a good start. Felt like a little bit of lag, but nothing too bad. Mm, that's unfortunate. Did I really beat Carlson in the first game? No way. But is this actually Carlson? I forget that game. I will go back in time after the stream ends. Um, if that actually happened. How did I play him the first game though? Feels random. Uh, he wants to be sneaky. Man with Havan. So I'll just go to my profile and do a search for it. This is a nice tool. Or no, I can just go to his profile. What am I doing? Okay. So if I go to Carlson's profile, new name. So he did not play under Dr. Uh, Drunkenstein. I guess for two tournaments in a row now. And I go to his games. Yeah, so we, we played. And I beat him. How did this happen? And a... I heard he was playing on mobile, but that was just some random comment. I don't know if that's true. But regardless, I mean, my, I, I, I said before the tournament, my goal was to play Carlson. I did not have a goal of beating him, um, but I played him unknowingly. I'll have to go back and watch and see, uh, <laughs> see how it happened. I beat him with a Budapest. Oh, because he pre-moved knight c3. Oh, that's so great. So... Because the, the first, like, three games I was black, I played the Budapest. So, okay. He played queen d1, yeah. I've had this position many times before in bullet. Um, I might even be, like, in the opening book. No, stronger players than me have played this too. Okay, so we had some normal position. Ah, uh, yeah, I was happy with this idea to play bishop c5, provoke b4, and then I can do this break with a5. I had a lesson yesterday with a student and I was introducing him to this very thematic break. Um, thank you, Phenomenon, for the 50 bits. So, anyway, I, I think I played a5 at some point. Because, yeah, now this pawn has to go away and that gives me more squares to work with. Can I scroll down a little? Oh, you want to see the computer analysis. We'll take a look at computer analysis after the game. Because I just want to look without an engine. Especially because it was bullet. Um, oh, it's so funny because I like I have very little memory of what happened next. Like If I cover up the notation, I don't really remember how this game transpired. But, um, okay, let's see. Knight g6. Ah, uh, yeah, so he took with the pawn. And then I was really scared for most of this game that the c pawn was going to come under fire. But that never quite happened. <laughs> I provoked some weakness with, uh, with g3. And I was just kind of turtling, just holding things together. Knight e5 was a nice move. Ah, uh, yeah, this is a moment where it's really hard to stop knight g4. So, like, already, even from this position, there's some nice play for black. He should probably play queen f1. No, but queen f1, knight f3. So, I have a feeling, like, maybe bishop d3 is already a mistake, and that's hard to see because this is a forcing line. Maybe queen e2 is a better move to allow f4. I'm in some money. 1050 bits. Thanks so much. Uh, so queen d1. Okay, the computer says it's dubious, I guess. 
Queen h3. Now I played knight g4 and I was feeling really good here. So much pressure. Rook e8. Uh, knight f6, take, take. Ah, yeah, I, th this was just a terrible move on my part, but somehow I stayed alive. And it felt like I was getting outplayed. And then queens got traded, that made me happy. And bishop, yeah, bishop h6 made me really happy, because this was a point that he can't really defend his pawn if he moves, I take on e3. And if he moves a knight, I'll have rook e4, which I think is very strong. So I won the pawn. I got the bishop to e5. And this is where I was scared of like rook c1 and b6 or something. But he never went for it. Uh, maybe he wanted to play b6. So that's why I played b6. I was still scared of like this and then this and then ideas of rook take b6. So that's why I put my bishop on c5. I have a feeling I won this game on time and not over the board. But let's zoom forward. Because now this is a typical like Carlson grind down where he just has like a better end game. Um, oh, but I should show the times. So let me make this smaller just a little bit. Uh, I have to expand this too, because the times, uh, bear with me, yeah, the times should show up right there, I don't know if people can see on the side there, um, yeah, so at this point, white had 9 seconds, I had 15 seconds, so I was just playing much faster. And let's see how this happened. Ah, then he dropped a pawn, then it was just a dirty time scramble, where I was just faster. Rook d6, world champion move. Um, and then I won the rook, okay. Well, it wasn't like the most thrilling, oh, that was pretty thrilling, to like kind of have a topsy-turvy game. Um, so I think I was better around like queen h3 and then I played knight f6, advantage slipped, and then I was better again when I got my bishop to e5 and then somehow he outplayed me. And yeah, that was fun.